Hi guys, this is Jian. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make this floral dress Barbie doll cake. In this video, I'm going to share how to build a cake, how to make the colors, how to pipe the flowers, and how to paint with buttercreams. And I'm going to show you how I add fillers. In this video, I separate it into big two parts. The first one is preparation and the second part is decorating. Part 1, building and carving the cake. So I prepared 6 inch cakes and this is 3 layers. I made a hole for only top 2 layers because I wasn't sure how deep the Barbie will go so the last layer doesn't have a hole. And I'm going to add a few more layers and I punched a hole in the middle for this layer so it's easier to see where I have to put the layer. And this layer, the hole is a little bit off the center because I wanted to give more volume toward to the back side like this and the front side is more flat than the back side and I'm going to place the last layer right on top of my previous layer and you can also see the opening part of this layer is a little bit off-centered as well Cover all of your cake parts and chill it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of chilling, I took out my cake and I made a mark so I can keep the front side more flat compared to the back side. The good thing about carving your own cake is you can make any shapes. You can make it wider or you can make it taller and longer. But if you want to avoid this step, there is a pen that already looks like Barbie's dress. So if you don't want to carve your own cake, you can purchase that cake tin. And for the cutout cake pieces, it's good to use it for cake pops. You can simply roll it into a bowl since the buttercream is already covered. It'll be easy to roll it into a bowl and stick a popsicle stick and dip it into a chocolate. Now the dress shape is almost ready so I'm going to just cover with a small amount of buttercream and do the crumb coating and chill it in the fridge for another 30 minutes. While chilling the cake I'm going to prepare the dress color. I used rose color and violet color and lemon yellow color. I just used a small amount of food color to have a light pale pink color. Now I'm going to use this pale pink to cover the dress. And I know I'm going to add a lot of flower patterns on the dress so I won't smooth it out completely. And also make sure to keep some of the same pink color for the top part to decorate. Here I prepared my Barbie wrapped with some plastic wrap, it's kind of funny. And I'm going to add some cake film inside the cake to prevent the Barbie touching the cake directly. And I put the Barbie inside the cake. And use the same buttercream to cover and fill up the gap between Barbie and the cake. And these are the tips that I'll be using later. The round tips are for the fillers and the petal tips, the U-shaped petal tip and 102 petal tips are for the flower piping. And from here, I'm going to make almost 10 colors. I'll show you how I make different colors with just using one bowl but you don't need to make 10 different colors just make three or two colors and start with that so first using with this golden yellow I made already two different yellow shades and add more green color into that mixture and made a lighter green color and 
With that green color, I add more light leaf green color and made a darker green tone color. I already made three different colors and I add royal blue color and made another darker green color. And add moss green into that mixture and make more natural looking green color. And in that mixture, I almost don't have any green color inside. I add burgundy, so burgundy was more stronger. So we have this nice pink burgundy color and I add more white color into it. So I have lighter pink color. And add Wilton orange color and I make this lovely peach pink color. And I add white color and I got this light peach color. This peach color is so lovely and this is the color that I wanted to use it for today's dress. So I'm going to make different shades of peach and lemon and orange color on my palette. The last color is adding rose into that peach mixture and made this lovely peach tone. And the last color is adding Wilton Corn Flower Blue and made this light blue mixture. Now we're going to start part 2 decorating. This is another way to make a simple flower using piping tip 81. Hold your piping bag and check your piping tip and see the curvy side of your tip is on your right side. Now let's try it again. Place your parchment paper on your flower nail and make a short small base and pipe 5 to 7 petals. Make 8 to 10 flowers and once you're done, chill it in the freezer until we need it for decorating. Before painting the flowers, I'm going to roughly make the topper dress part. First, I'm going to make the outlines by piping small dots and fill it up with vertical lines. Now we're going to start painting the leaves and petals. First, I'm going to start with the leaves. Spread out your buttercream flat and by using your palette knife, pick up your buttercream by using both sides of your palette knife. See if you have this triangular shape behind your palette knife and once you have it, let's start painting. Gently apply the leaves around the dress. And now I'm going to start adding the petals. Change your palette knife to a smaller size. For the petals, I'm going to start with using one side of my palette knife. Also, I'm using the same technique as picking up the buttercream by using both sides of my palette knife. 
It's good to use both sides of palette knife and one side of palette knife and you can overlap these flowers together. Then you'll have a various shapes of flowers on your cake. Before adding more petals, I'm going to use this Wilton number 2 tip with yellow buttercream and add some curvy lines in between the petals. These fillers are great, it's a great excuse to use different colors and we can add some textures. And these fillers have a power to connect all the ornaments together. Now I'm going to use this darker peach tone color and spread out some petals and also overlap some petals on the pink tone flowers. And with a lighter peach tone color, add some bright shades on the flower. After adding the flowers with the lighter color, I wanted to add some depth in my flowers so I made a darker pink color and I started to painting the middle part of the flowers. Now I'm adding my second filler. It's a tiny petals by using this light blue color. Use the same palette knife and pick up only a small amount of buttercream by using the tip of your palette knife. And while I'm adding the blue little details, I use the same blue color and mixed it into my pink color and I add some small details on my flowers. Now back to the flowers and add lighter colored petals. And the third filler is the same filler as the first one, but I switch it to a smaller piping tip to make it more delicate curvy lines. So I'm going to use two different piping tips to pipe petals. The first one is using a Teco 102 petal tip. You can apply a variety of different shapes by using painting effect and piping effect petals together.
to add a bigger petal, I'm going to use this 123 piping tip from Ateco. This piping tip is much more bigger and it has a nice curve. So once you use this piping tip, you can add a smooth curvy petals on your cake. Now it's time to add the white flowers on the cake. Gently peel the parchment paper and lift it up with your flower lifter or you can use your hand but make sure to wear some gloves to avoid touching them directly because it gets soft so easily. So gently hold the flowers and apply them on your cake if there is no buttercream on the cake. Pipe some buttercream and use it as a glue and add the flowers. And try to avoid touching them directly with your fingertips. Now I'm going to add some details. I have a lot of light color flowers so I'm going to use some darker color yellow. I used one of the yellow colors and I add some brown color into the mixture and I'm using Wilton number one to pipe the stamens. And I'm going to show you another filler. I'm going to use the same color of the dress and pipe a small flower. It's very small and the colors are not really recognizable so you won't really see it from far away but you know there's something on your cake so this filler will make your cake more interesting. And the final detail is using 349 Ateco piping tip. This piping tip is same as 352 leaf tip but it's slightly smaller. So you can add a tiny leaves around your flower. I'm going to use this as my final touch. One thing I wanted to tell you is making this Barbie's hair it took me almost an hour to make an upstyle hair. So if you want to make Barbie doll cake, make sure to make her hair first before adding her in the cake. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.